This is Wendy. Wendy is a 10 year old living in a rural community. Wendy has recently been diagnosed with diabetes. Fortunate for Wendy, her small rural elementary just established a telehealth enabled school based health center. This is great for Wendy because her primary care provider's office is 30 miles away in the next town. Travel for doctor's visits can be an issue for her family since they have one car, which her father uses daily to get to his job. Over the past few weeks, Wendy's blood sugar levels have been erratic and trending in a negative direction. On a recent visit to her school nurse for a regular blood sugar check, Wendy's blood sugar reading is very high. The school nurse asks Wendy a few questions. Wendy tells the school nurse that she's been experiencing tooth pains and dizziness. After more probing, the nurse learns that Wendy's family cannot afford to take a day off of work for dentist visits. She also discovers that Wendy has been on a liquid diet of mainly sugary drinks to deal with her tooth pain. Upon hearing this, the school nurse establishes an acute care telehealth visit with Wendy's primary care provider. She shares trended data about Wendy's blood sugars over the past week and shares the newly discovered information about her tooth pain and dizziness. The primary care provider, with the help of a digital cam used by the school nurse, looks into Wendy's mouth and at her throat and discovers what appears to be a deep cavity with an abscess. The primary care provider explains to Wendy that having diabetes can make a person more susceptible to infection, similar to the one in her mouth. It is explained to Wendy that along with sugary drinks, having an infection can affect blood glucose control and may make the progression of diabetes even worse. The primary care provider communicates that there is a need for an immediate referral to both a dentist and an endocrinologist. The school nurse checks Wendy's school records and notes that Wendy's family does not have a dental home. 